continue in English since we are a very rich crowd here, as you correctly said. Uh, my name is Alan Milligan. I'm CEO and founder in White Rabbit. Uh, I'm also a film producer. I've had award-winning films in Cannes and Venice. We've distributed our films to about 100 countries. Uh, we had the best-selling foreign film in the UK and Australia in 2015. So you can say what I'm talking about today, I can feel it really at the pulse on the heart of the problem. Um, before this, I was in fact a software entrepreneur. I don't have any programming skills, I just let you know. I find great programmers to work with me. Uh, and that was a company called MCIS. I sold that in 2008. When Milborough's Chemical Information System was the, um, has, uh, installed on board uh, hundreds of chemical tankers around the world. It ensures a safe transport of chemicals at sea and has become the industry standard in a $2.3 trillion market. Uh, when I sold my company in 2008, I uh, went to Con May 2009. I met a film producer who's become a good friend of mine. And he said, Alan, if you want to make a small fortune in film, you have to start with a big one. And of course, <laughs> I laughed at the time, but the fact is that that has, no, that has been no more true than it is today. At the moment, there are too many barriers between the films, the filmmakers, uh, there are too many middlemen and there are too many costs, and that is what White Rabbit is looking to solve. Before I dive into how we're going to do that, I'm going to show you a little video, because I am, after all, in the film industry, so we have to show videos. <laughs> White Rabbit is shaking up streaming. How? With our awesome browser plugin, that's how. All those people we call pirates, 60% of them don't want to be pirates. They're fans, okay? They want to pay, but there's been no legitimate way for them to watch what they want. Until now, White Rabbit gives the fans unlimited films and series. Download the White Rabbit plugin and stream what you want, from where you want, whenever you want. Be a responsible route. Payment is easy, fast, and transparent thanks to blockchain technology and smart contracts. The fans, the artists, the risk takers. Everyone gets their fair share. Everyone's happy. White Rabbit, jump in. As we see it, the, films in, the film and series industry has four challenges that White Rabbit is trying to solve. Challenge number one is that too few filmmakers make money. Uh, you hear about these films in Sundance and Cannes and Berlin that get sold for millions of dollars, Amazon, Netflix are the buyers. But between those films, there are brilliant films that are either not re receiving distribution or end up on iTunes or Amazon uh, Jungle. So these films, I mean, they're brilliant films, they're costing millions of dollars, and they have nowhere to go. There is a huge lack of transparency in the film industry. Uh, the, you know, if, if I have a film out there, I have to wait six months to five years to receive the revenue that I'm due. I have no idea who has seen it or how many has seen it. I receive a royalty check with no information whatsoever. And the film industry has, after all, been quite well known for cooking the books. There is a lack of choice in the film industry. Uh, you know, Netflix, uh, the, uh, the uh, Netflix CEO, Ted Sandro, said that we aim to be HBO before HBO becomes Netflix. That means they are producing more content than they are buying. So what happens to all these films that, no one, that have nowhere to go anymore? Pirates versus fans. In the film industry, we don't make a difference between a pirate and a fan. A pirate to us is someone who won't pay in principle, <laughs> period. You can't convince them. A fan is someone who's willing to break the law in order to see the films and the series that they love, but we give them no opportunity to prove their loyalty by paying the rights holders. So I think that the uh, business case is that we cannot control the distribution. I think that is proven. The piracy rate is incredible. I'll talk about that more later. So I say, let's control payment. Let's come up with the idea that we should be able to watch any film anytime, anywhere. And we should be able to pay for that film anytime, anywhere. And we need to create a viable business model for the entire film industry. We need to revolutionize the way digital, digital distribution works 
without forcing users to change their habits. Today, 200 million Europeans stream peer-to-peer, -peer. 20 million Europeans uh, subscribe to Netflix. At the same time, we need to be responsible for rebels. We need to take care of the filmmakers, the film ministry, as well as the fans. So the solution, the solution that White Rabbit has come up with is a plugin into your browser that allows you to stream content on any peer-to-peer -peer site where you recognize the content and you're able to pay the filmmaker directly uh, uh, through the plugin. So, woo! <laughs> Going, so by separating, separating distribution from payment, we can offer one account but infinite streaming solutions. So the principle of White Rabbit, it has to be easy. You have to be able to stream wherever you prefer to stream and pay for it. It has to be fast. The filmmakers, I have to wait six months to five years to get my Netflix money, should be able to receive the money immediately, whereas immediately as blockchain can deliver. Transparent. Blockchain means transparency in payment. No more cooking the books. When the user pays, you're able to see the money that you receive, and all the rights holders of the film are able to see which cut they're supposed to be getting. Sharing. We have to do something with the distribution of films. So we are sharing 10% of the revenue with streaming sites. And opportunity. So this is my sort of further dream from White Rabbit, is the rabbit hole. So you've paid for your film. Uh, you uh, now have access to this film, the highest quality version available on, uh, in your user library. We call it the rabbit hole. In the rabbit hole, you have access to all that content we used to have access to. Behind the scenes, Q and A's, deleted scenes, new versions, merchandise. There's a million ideas. We don't have them all, so we open up to third parties to create applications for the rabbit hole to incentivize fans and monetize the content. So, our business model, very simple. 75% goes to the rice holder, 15% goes to White Rabbit, and 10% goes to the streaming sites. The token, the token for us uh, is not only important in the White Rabbit ecosystem, it's important for us in order to change the way the film industry works. Uh, we are working and having discussions with people who hold larger libraries of content, hundreds of films, hundreds of series, or episodes of series. But the importance in changing the film industry lies in the fact that the token is a promise for, from the user to the filmmaker or the rights holder that they will pay if they accept the token. Now, if we don't have the rights, after a while, a couple of weeks, we're collecting tokens, and we get in touch with the rights holder, and we say, by the way, we have 100,000 tokens. Are you interested? It's always a good you know, start of a negotiation. We sit down, you have 100,000 tokens, which can be converted into fiat or cryptocurrency. As an independent uh, producer, I can say that that is a better deal than most uh, filmmakers get today. If they decide to accept it, they, can, uh, they enter into a smart contract, they take the tokens, we give them a bonus for onboarding White Rabbit, and now the transaction has been legalized. If they decide not to accept it, well, the token is in the distribution pool that's encrypted, so we have no idea who the user is, and we can't tell anyone who the user is. So then the token goes back to the user, and no one is the wiser. This is just doing what people do today, but incentivizing them to pay. So this is the... Uh, the idea that we have. This is the project that we are developing. But uh, do we have any validation for this? <coughs> DVD sales was once the bread and butter of the film industry. If you didn't make it in the cinema, you could certainly make break even in the DVD market. Not only that, but the DVD market was a place for alternative films to, to make money. It could be cult films, they became popular films, they were weird films, they were interesting, brilliant films, but there was a market for it. So when streaming arrived, that market disappeared, and Netflix, HBO, other OTTs took the market. And of course, Netflix, HBO, there's so many series that I love, but it's only available on their sites, more or less. 
So what we're trying to do then with with our uh, with White Rabbit is create a new market where you as a producer have a room to to show your content to distribute your content. We spend an enormous amount of money on streaming services every single month. In America, it's about $148. And I think probably in Norway, it's about the same. Which is why in the US, 800,000 Americans are cable cutting every single quarter. Cable is down, DVD is pretty much done. Streaming, on the other hand, is doing really well. It's doubling in size, in both number of users and revenue in the next five years which is plenty of opportunity for new platforms and new solutions to enter the market. Not at least because of this. Netflix, 2012, 11,000 titles. 2016, 4,355. This year, expected to end up in 3,000 titles. So they're cutting at an increasing rate, uh, and their, their, their stated strategy now is to produce 50% and buy 50% of the content. So the question is, 8,000 titles, where do they go? And is this what the users really want? Less choice? We're paying the same amount of money. Why do we get less choice? No, I don't think that's what the users want. And that's why piracy is increasing uh, year to year. The film industry has lost $15 billion in piracy in 2016. But the elephant in the room here, and I'm not a mind reader, but I'm thinking you're all thinking, pirates don't pay, right? Is that a yes? <laughs> <laughs> and some people say that people stream streaming on popcorn time only what, because it was free. I don't know about your experience, but I found, and we found out through the research we've done, that it changed the way that users expect content and access, convenience and choice. We want access. Two studies of 10,000 pirates in Finland and Australia show that 60% of them are willing to pay. That's 60% of $15, $15 billion increasing 55% year on year. And the research also tells us that those who actually stream illegally spend more on content than those who stream less. These are not pirates, these are fans. So let's start calling them fans and giving them a choice. And I think that these fans would love to see something like White Rabbit and not, not least the rabbit hole. So my bold statement is, if an entire generation breaks the law, it's not a crime, it's a business opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> so we're positioning White Rabbit to compete on more choice in films and series more convenience to find what you're looking for and stream it from where you prefer. And by allowing fans to pay filmmakers directly, we can do this at a more reasonable price. So, yeah. um, we are now in the pre-sale. There's a 20% bonus on our token at the moment. Uh, it's 25 Ethereum minimum. Of course, Ethereum, like everything else, has gone through the roof. We started this in December, so we may give a little option for people to have a lower investment when we uh, in the last weeks of the pre-sale. And our goal is to deliver White Rabbit in the third quarter of this year. MVP under the way, underway. Team, me, I've spoken about myself too much. Adrian is here tonight, over there, holding a camera. <laughs> me. Trying. Okay. He has uh, seven years in uh, cloud computing. He's been a strategic uh, consultant. Uh, Alexander was uh, the uh, uh, CTO of my previous company, MCIS, and has been part of developing the MVP. Uh, we also have great advisors. Thank God. I don't know if you recognize the guy in the middle, but uh, he has been testing out our blockchain code. And thank you, Jung, uh, and blockchain users, for you know, hosting this. Thank you very much. Uh, Gregory Carson has done... Uh, Quite a number of IPOs. He's worked as a VC. He's upping the level for our ICO. Alexander Hagedup here today as well. He's uh, been a great consultant. He's been through the entrepreneur life quite a number of times and is a great consultant for me personally. Uh, Tom Emil Ulsen has a great uh, reputation. He's the one who created our logo. 
I'm going to take credit for the name. I had to fight for that name. Uh, but he has created uh, the brand identity and is making sure that we keep his brand identity as we promote and launch White Rabbit this year. We're very lucky to be partnering with Wings, uh, which is part of the Ethereum Foundation, uh, Transform Group, headed by Michael Turpin, who is top 50 in the ICO world today, uh, also founder of Coin Agenda. Uh, so they're doing our uh, English uh, speaking PR. Forklog is doing our Russian and Eastern European PR. Mazix, a Danish company, taking care of our social media. And Block Changers. Hey. 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 Um, you can find out more about us on the website. You can join our Telegram group. If you are a keen investor, you can send us an email. Uh, what we're also looking for, we are a Norwegian company based in Oslo. We're going to do this from Norway. We're looking for talented people. If this is something for you and you have something to contribute, take away token, write Alan, 1L, Adrian, at whiterabbit.one, get in touch. And of course, I have to end this with a video. Let's shake things up. That's how you make leaps, not steps. White Rabbit is shaking up streaming with a giant leap. We've discovered another way, a better way, a fairer way. We love movies and believe in unlimited choice. We also believe in rewarding people for their hard work, passion, and talent. Join us and break free. Escape to a wonderland of entertainment. We stand with the fans. We stand with the creatives. Now, let's have some fun. White Rabbit. Thank you.